Uber suggest keyword research tutorial for beginners. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel. Today we're having a look at Uber suggest, and you can jump straight into neilpatel.com, and this is the page you will find. Once you have signed up, which is absolutely free, this is the dashboard, and this is what it'll look like. So you can actually enter your website over here if you want to add a project so you will enter your website over here and it'll start tracking and improving your website's seo uh, traffic on the right hand side it gives you a website overview uh, meta information site review and performance and this will help you understand the traffic that is moving through your website on a daily weekly monthly basis right now we're going to go out of here because this piece of software allows us to get some insights to keywords which we can use put into a spreadsheet or just copy to our clipboard and then actually use that data on our website so a few things from this dashboard on the right hand side you will have your account where you can change your account and billing information you can also manage your notifications and you will be able to sign out right over there then they have a list of all the plans and pricing and then they offer a consultation service that will allow you to better understand their software and grow the traffic that is moving through your website so we're just going to go back from there and we're going to go onto the dashboard again. On the left-hand side, you have a toolbar. And on this toolbar, there are a few options. So you have your dashboard. You have the workspace, the SEO opportunities. You have a keyword research, traffic estimation, backlinks, and your labs. Now, what you can actually do is you can install a Chrome extension of Ubersuggest straight onto your desktop or onto your browser so you can access it easily what we're going to jump into here is the keyword research now once you open keyword research there are a bunch of options that they give you we are going to start with the keyword overview and you can just tap that so they have tons of tools and tons of insights and the more you play around and the more you look into what the software actually offers you, you can start understanding your traffic better and you can start increasing that traffic flow. So it says here, get a detailed keyword overview. You can also change the language that you are using the software in and the location. So depending on where you are offering a service or a product the location will make a very big difference and so will the language so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put in here wedding photographer and i'm going to hit search and what it's giving you here is the search volume the seo difficulty paid difficulty and the cost per click which we will get into now so it also offers you the search volume on a line graph so that you can see in different times of the year what is actually happening with a keyword like this. So you can see here from May, from April all the way down to October, the ratings are a little bit lower and here in sort of December, from November to December, January, the ratings are a little bit higher. And it also then gives you the mobile volume and the desktop volume. As you traveling down this page, you can see that there is a click on SEO result and a searcher's age range. And that is quite a good insight. So that you can now start tracking who it is that is actually searching for these things and if that is aligned with your potential clients or the clients that you want to deal with then that is a fantastic way to know if your search results on a website is actually correct or if it's not in line with the group of people that you want to advertise to so as you're going down here you can see that there is also the keyword ideas so these are ideas that basically are 
in accordance or relevant to the keyword that you've put in here. So I've just put in wedding photographer and right here there are some other ideas. Wedding photographer average cost, wedding photographer cost, wedding photographer and now it's going into locations and pricing packages, shot list and so on. Now if you tap view all keyword ideas, it'll bring up a whole bunch more. Then you have content ideas. This basically is if you are creating content, you can include your keywords in phrases like this. So as it says here, 36 important questions to ask your wedding photographer. And it also tells you where that is actually coming from. It gives you the estimated visits right over here. It gives you the backlinks. And then the shares on social media. So this over here actually ranks relatively low in comparison to a keyword like this that says, I hired a cheap wedding photographer, every last detail. And you can see here that the social media share volume is a lot higher than what this one is. However, if you're having a look at the estimated visits on the actual website, the first keyword over here is a lot higher than what this one is. So if you have to balance where you are actually putting your content, you will use different keywords or you will use different phrases with your keywords in it. If you're going up to the top here to show you what these actually are. So it says here, wedding photographer average cost. So the trend here, it says search volume of the keyword over the last 12 months. Now, if you tap on that, it'll take you up to this search volume trend over here. It also has the volume, which is the number of searches this particular keyword has during one single month. And then it has the cost per click. Now, the cost per click, depending on what your business is, could influence the keywords that you use differently so it's the average cost per click if you wanted to pay google to be seen as an ad so if somebody is paying a high cost per click the keyword is usually more valuable so if you have a look here you know two dollars 195 four dollars those are lower cost per click terminologies or keywords if you are going down you know, maybe it's going up to maybe $5, $6. Those are more towards wedding photographer. Perhaps um, the keyword will perhaps say wedding photographer lowest cost or wedding photographer best pricing or something like that. So those are basically a, a rating to, to show you how well that keyword appeals to a potential customer or client that is going to click on your ad. Then you have the paid difficulty, which is an estimated competition in paid research. The higher the number, the more competitive. So yes, if you have a keyword with a high paid difficulty, then it's going to be quite competitive and your ad is going to come up in a large group of ads, which you may not even get a click. Then you have the SEO difficulty, and that's the estimated competition in organic search. The higher the number, the more competitive. So again, if you're going to balance the paid difficulty and the SEO difficulty, you could probably find keywords or key phrases that are better suited than others. Then another thing that they offer is not just the keyword suggestions, but related keywords. So these will actually come up as keywords that are related to your keywords. So if you're just typing in the wedding photographer, you're going to have wedding photographer near me, the average cost, average wedding photographer cost, and so forth. And it also offers you a take on the volume, the trend, the cost per click, the paid difficulty, and the SEO difficulty again. And if you balance all of that, you can now start choosing the keywords that you want to use. Then they also have questions. So, you know, questions that are related to your keyword. So what to ask wedding photographers, how much does wedding photography make, how to become wedding photographer so these are also you know the volume isn't as high however 
this is, I think, more for people that are doing more research than actually looking for a photographer for their wedding. Then there are prepositions. So basically, there are a bunch of words that are in different orders on your keywords. And then you have comparisons, which you can actually compare if you uh, wedding photographer and videographer. And what you can actually do is, so this is how people want to compare one element of wedding photography to another. So, you know, if they're looking for um, price comparisons or rate comparisons or package comparisons, these are the suggestions that they sh would be looking for. And if you tap on any one of these, basically what it does is it gives you an overview of that particular keyword. It gives you a breakdown of that particular keyword right over here. You can see it gives you all the details right over here. And you can now see all the details of that particular keyword. And there you go. You can now take all of these keywords that you want to use. And you can actually just, you can copy them or you can, you can select them. And you can copy them to a clipboard or you can copy them to your spreadsheet and you can use them later for reference material. And that is how you use Ubersuggest so that you can optimize your website and grow your traffic flow. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave us a like and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.